to open Denny Fieldbook, we'll go to Start, All Programs, Denny Fieldbook. Then we're going to load a DAT file. So click on that button. Choose the DAT file that you downloaded with Data Transfer. And then you can start filling in the details, like your project name, the date, can put the surveyor's name. This should come through from the dinny if you filled it in on the dinny. Then you can choose of all the different lines in the file and take note automatically it shows you the start and the end point and the heights. Again you can see that was a loop run. So we'll choose line one. Remember you've got to select it selected. If it's not blue it won't work then you can change any of the start or ending point heights and when you're ready you can click on reduce file automatically it opens Excel and it shows your reduced file note where you've put in your details and you can change the format align it to the left and this file contains a lot of formulas so it's not wise to edit any numbers in this file We'll talk later about how to edit lines. You can see the correction. These are the checks to make sure that your consistency is good within the file. They should all be exactly the same. And to show an example, if we just changed it, not that you should, it'll, it would have said inconsistent. Let's just change it back. Then you can have a look at your misclosure. Now this was a test run, so the misclosure is massive. Correction, backside distance, foreside distance, and then here are the pass-fail criteria based on these formulas for the different types of runs. So what you can do then is, it's not saved yet, We'll save it now once you're happy and you can put it wherever you want to and give it a meaningful name. Click Save. Okay, we'll close this for now. What I want to show you next is how to edit what's called an observation file. So as soon as you've reduced a file, it creates an observation file automatically which don't contain formulas and you can change, cut, paste, you can even add manual observations to it. So we'll just open the one that says observation. You can see that the date is the same as when you reduce the file. So here's a simple spreadsheet with no formulas and it just contains the observations. So I'm just going to show you how to, for example, edit names. Uh, we can change the descriptions here, ABC. And you can even cut lines, join lines, do a whole lot of things. So just to say again that what we're doing here, you shouldn't do in the the reduced Excel spreadsheet because all the formulas are linked it becomes quite messy so I'm just gonna play around here and copy some intermediate sites from the bottom you can change the names again this file really gives you a lot of freedom and then when you're done we can save it to say yes there's a bug in Excel once you do yeah, you can just say no there, close it go back to Dinny Fieldbook and now instead of loading that file we load an OBS file you choose the one that you've just edited you can sort by modified to make sure and you'll see a lot of things are grayed out then you can reduce the file and there you go Okay, the misclosure is still massive just because this was a test file. Uh, you can see there the names that we changed, also the descriptions, 
and so on and so forth. So just to show you the formulas in this file, 